we're good? We are good. Yep. All right, so this is my actual game of the year. And this what is, is it? This is Control. This yep. is the newest game by Remedy, who are well known for the first two Max Payne games mm -hmm. and Alan Wake. Mm -hmm. Have um, they done uh, anything since Alan Wake, or is this it? Uh, Quantum Break. They did Quantum Break, which was a... Um, a TV uh, show. Wasn't Monk in that? I don't know if Tony Shalhoub was in that. <laughs> I know... Um, Littlefinger was in it. Littlefinger was in it, yeah. Uh -huh. That's was, what like, I was thinking about. It wasn't The bad Monk. guy. It's yeah. definitely not Monk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Can you imagine Game of Thrones with Tony Shalhoub? With Tony Shalhoub. As Littlefinger? As Littlefinger. That's okay. great. <laughs> but what is this game? Uh, so this is... Uh, this is a sci-fi action puzzle game okay um where you are in a place called the bureau of control okay. which is a giant brutalist building in new york that uh unless it wants you to you can't see it and it's constantly changing oh and the bureau of control uh they investigate anomalies around the world and it's like things like like there'll be an object like a fridge a fridge that you have to stare at, and if you if someone stops staring at the fridge, bad things happen. Mm. So that they have people who have shifts who just have to constantly stare at this fridge. Edison, have you ever perused the SCP archive? Yes. Yes. That what control is? What if the government wanted to keep track of those? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you are essentially Jesse, you're Jesse Faden. You're Jesse Faden. Who you come to the Bureau of Control because when you were a little kid, you and your brother dealt with a very fucked up phenomenally. Uh, phenomenally. Anomaly. <laughs> I like it. Um, Keep it in. It's a phenomenal anomaly. <laughs> um, but phenomenally. it was a, I believe theirs was a... It was a slide projector. It was a slide projector. And it the slide projector would dimensions. open up portals to other dimensions, and they would go around to different dimensions, okay. and it basically fucked up their town. And essentially the board of control covered it up, uh -huh. and... Jessie ran and her brother got captured, so she comes, she finally finds the Bureau of Control and the whole game is her looking for her brother. Okay. I believe I want to go, I want to go to Central Executive. I do want to go to Central Executive. I'm in the right place. Excellent. Okay. Okay, Dr. Underhill below Central, Central Research. What? Okay, so right now I've beaten the game uh -huh. and I'm basically just, uh, for reasons that are a, a bit weird, I am now the director of the Bureau of Control because I found the, the director's gun that he killed himself with. And I just picked it up. And, and you now didn't I have to be the director. Huh. It's okay. like the Santa Claus. Yeah, uh -huh. kind of. Um, I believe I have astral constructs. Um, so your weapon is the director's gun. And the it's service just, weapon. It's the service weapon. Um, it's every weapon in the game. It just kind of changes. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll try to... It's a shape-shifting gun. It's a shape-shifting gun. That's okay. like everything in this game. It, 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 it shifts shapes. Is there anything to do at, in the end game? Yes. I am actually in the middle of... A, I have to deal with what they call the clog. Oh, um, no. So the guy... There's this weird janitor man who is the first person you meet in the Bureau of Control. And he has Let's to go deal find with... find him. He has to deal with this thing called the clog, which is... Horrible. It's horrible. It's great. So it's in research it under the lab. I think I'm in the wrong area. Yeah. Um, I need to go to the research sector. Uh, so oh, maintenance I'm an executive. I want to go to research, and I want to go to yeah, central research. It's below central research, mm -hmm. and the central elevator's research. right there. Yep. <clears throat> so the clog. Um, hopefully, I'll just show you the clog. The clog is gross. Is it poop? No. Okay. No, it's alive. Is it magic poop? It's alive. It's not poop. I wish it was poop. It poop looks a little so bit much like simpler. It, it's like if poop had eyes and was alive and breathed Ew. and kind of went and it puked I every once in a while. I am the great <laughs> mighty poo. <laughs> I wish it was the great mighty poop. <laughs> he's easy to deal with. He's got to throw some toilet paper. Okay, so we, we need to establish what we can and can't talk about. Who here has played Control? I have played Control. I have played Control. Not, I've never even heard of it. Okay, well, shit. <laughs> I want luck and probability I do Hey, Blair, want. what if we talk around the cool things that are in this game? You can say some of them. Yeah, I have no intention of playing this. I can't so. buy an Xbox right now. Uh, it's it's on PC. PlayStation 2. I can't yeah. do that. Ooh, uh, yeah, feel free. 
I mean, just a okay. spoiler alert for the watchers at home. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yo, Blair. Yeah. This game is fucking tight. This game is tight as fuck. Yeah. Uh, every. Oh, oh, my, where's my gun? You got killed very fast. Where's my? Yeah, these guys are hard. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so, Blair, what, what's what was your what's your favorite OOP that you've discovered? What's your favorite object of power that you've that you've interacted with? Because I, I I like the fridge. The fridge is really good. He was being for real about the fridge where if you don't stare at it, it kills you. Yeah. Huh. So uh. somebody has to stare at the fridge at all times, and as part of this game, as part of the story... Or else who dies? Uh, whoever whoever is, the whoever's fridge closest. Wants to. Whoever's closest. <laughs> yeah. So as part of this game... You when, you when you walk into the Bureau of Control, something bad has just happened, and that's why like the defenses are down, and you are like going around regulating shit, and yeah. you stumble upon the guy whose job it was last to monitor the fridge, <laughs> and he just hasn't been able to leave his he post for twenty four hours. So he's been staring at this fridge. He can't like long shifts. Uh, no, well, he, no, they forgot about it. It was, oh. it was supposed to be a regular <laughs> shift, but yeah. things went shitty, and nobody checked on him. Oh damn. <laughs> So it's like it's like the intersection of occult rituals and like government bureaucracy of just like, man, fuck it, I forgot that he was in there. Shit. <laughs> yeah, well, like, well, we can't. He can't leave his post. No. Yeah, somebody's got to go relieve him. Can you check on him real quick? Yeah. And then, spoiler, he doesn't survive. He does not survive. No. <laughs> no so bad things this is, happen. This game is the intersection between the occult and bureaucracy. Yes. Yeah. See. Oh, and you can fly. Yeah. Now, now that's a way to sell me a game. <laughs> yeah. I'm being completely real here. So, there is a force called the Board that is apparently an extra-dimensional entity that communicates with the director of the Bureau. Okay. There are a giant inverted space pyramid in, 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 uh, in the astral plane. Yep. <laughs> and they talk to you in, in government, uh, like, slash speak. So it's like, sir slash madam, please execute slash video game these enemies. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of fourth wall breaking going on in control. Oh, what are my other favorite objects of power? Uh, have you cracked the mystery of what's inside the power plant? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's in the power plant? <laughs> so the thing that's yeah. in the power plant, every throughout this game, you keep on hearing stories about what's his name. The um, two directors before it was. It, you're the current director. You're the current director. Trench was the director Trench before you. Trench was the you. director before you, yeah, you, you find. He still talks to you. Uh -huh. He still talks to you through the... Uh, through the astral plane. The astral plane. And, you have to... Uh -huh. There's different phones you have to find where he'll... You have to talk to the, the board and the director will, like... It's really weird. When, when you, people talk to you in your head, it, like, it projects, projects it on, on the, the screen. It's it's really weird. It's it's really hard to explain. But so what's in the power plant? The the fir the, the director before Trench, his name was like Norfolk or something. The yeah. power plant is okay. called the NSC, and you all you hear about Norfolk is that oh he was just too power hungry and it eventually drove him nuts and we had to put him down. Yeah. What that actually means is that they <laughs> shut him up inside of a sarcophagus. He started to explode constantly. So they shut him up inside of a sarcophagus, and now he powers the entire yeah. Bureau of Control. He, yeah. <laughs> and you find a room inside the power plant where you just see an x-ray of a human skeleton just, like, writhing in pain. Yep. <laughs> uh. And that's the previous director. That's the previous director. Because <laughs> the director's primary job is to keep the lights on. Um, I really liked the mirror. Yes. Um, the mirror is actually a mirror universe, and there's... One of the coolest things that this game has, it has these audio recordings. Mm -hmm. And there's an audio recording in the room where you're investigating the mirror. And this woman is, um, she's interviewing this guy who went into the mirror and came back. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And when she's talking to him, he's speaking backwards. Mm -hmm. And she's, she can't understand him. She's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And when you go into the mirror universe, that same audio recording is there, but you can hear what he's saying. Fuck. Yeah, it's super oh, fucking cool. Cookie. I don't think I, I don't yeah. think I saw that second recording. Yeah, it's so fucking cool. <laughs> uh, and what is he saying? Anything? He's basically saying, "Don't fuck with the mirror." Uh -huh. yeah, like okay. the mirror is fucking with you. You can't deal with it. Uh huh. Uh, I also like the clocks. <laughs> the clocks, yeah. <laughs> there, there's, there's a, a lot of clocks. There, there is an object of power that multiplies that multiplies things, specifically clocks. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. There's just a room full of clocks. I'm gonna hold on. I'm completely lost. I don't know where my gun is. 
I think I might have unequipped my gun accidentally. Ow. I don't even know you could do that, but my gun is not here. Really? Yeah. So... Oh, these guys are fucking terrifying. Okay. Yeah. Is uh, the Bureau of Control under attack currently? Or? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, by the Hiss. The, the Hiss is a force that has infiltrated a whole lot of people, and there are only some people who had, like, uh, preventative technology on. Yep. So okay. only people... So Faden is... She's unable to be affected by the Hiss because of her... She's got a special friend. She's got... Yeah, she's got a special friend. Um, Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Um, where are... Did I... Unequip? I think you gotta go into the pause menu. Where is my gun? Yeah, you don't have any guns equipped. I don't. Okay, I want... I personally went with Pierce and Shatter for the entire playthrough. You like Pierce and Shatter? Yeah. I do like Grip a lot, too. Grip is the, the just the regularized pistol. Uh -huh. Oh, my slots are gone. What happened? Oh, no. That's why you died so fast. Yeah, levitation, ammo, while levitating, radio Yeah, fire. one of the core advancement ways, things in this game is that you level up your gun to make it do more damage, and it also gains more weapon slots to let you like have these special randomly rolled perks okay. yep. on it. And, and there's some cool ones, like, oh, you do more damage while you're levitating, or you do more damage, like, on the last shot of your clip for some yeah. weapons. Uh, mm. Energy renewed from headshots, and I want ammo cost while levitating. Ooh. That's pretty good. That's 23%. That's 24%. Mm. Love incremental Bada bing, upgrades. bada boom. Okay, so this is, this is the service weapon. So if I equip another one, you'll see the service weapon is all of your weapons. I think I like Pierce. No, I don't like Pierce. Where's, where's the... Sh is it Shatter? Shatter's the shotgun. Then it was Charge. It was definitely Charge. Uh, rate of fire... I might have liked Charge, too. I think it was Charge and Shatter. Projectile speed, yes. And... I don't know why everything is reset. Blast radius. Boom. Oh, no. I did not use Charge, because Charge is the grenade launcher. Yeah. So this is this is charged. So you go boop, and then a boop, and then a boop, and then boop, shoot them out. Oh, cool. Right. Yeah, it's something. very neat. It, it, it's reminiscent of like those Halo Four guns from that one, the one sub category of. of oh guns. yeah, that weird the weird alien guns. They kind of assemble as you pull it out. Yeah. Oh, and it seems like you don't actually have ammo. You just it just regenerates. Yep. Yeah. The service weapon regenerates ammo. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then also you have your psychokinetic like pick up and throw which you just pull chunks of concrete out of the ground yeah it's also strangely reminiscent of the first mass effect oh yeah there's a little bit there's, there's a little bit there yeah mm -hmm. you're not wrong um so these things so i don't remember if you saw the uh, the enemies that were just dudes in chairs with bags yeah. over their heads yeah. uh -huh. so this thing these would basically del ooh, delve into people's minds Mm -hmm. And it was a, it was something they did for research. And the hiss that are stuck in the chairs are people who were turned while they were in those chairs. So they're just stuck in them now. And they have the bags because they're supposed to put a bag over their head so that they're not it's like sensory deprivation. Sensory deprivation. So there's some hiss who are just people who are trapped like that forever. And the hiss is incurable. You find out like pretty early yeah, on. You try to wrench it out of people's. Try heads to wrench and it, it out of people explode. and they yeah they just horribly die. So what is the hiss? It's an extra-dimensional force that uh, its true nature isn't quite clear. Yeah, it's uh, it's something nasty. It's something nasty. It's it's a being that like we can't really comprehend. Yeah. Okay. Which is a lot of this game. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, a lot of this is like go into collectibles. Go in. Let's read some stories. Okay. Um. Uh, go go to case files are usually pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So the yeah, TV. This object can levitate itself to a maximum observed altitude of redacted. When bound, it allows peri-utilitarians to harness this effect for their own use. See, See reports. report redacted. Discovered in a local news story in Kansas, a figure had been seen something over buildings. <laughs> Pure dispatch <laughs> agents to the town who discovered that the man had bound himself to the object. He was detained, and the object was brought to the bureau for study. Like it's all this kind of stuff, <laughs> where they find they find weird events around the world, and they just go shut it down immediately. Here we go, the hotline. I can see redacted over building. Yeah. <laughs> cool. 
telephone, rotary dial has been replaced, the black knob of unknown purpose, the phone weighs redacted. <laughs> the object allows the director to communicate with the blank. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal blank. Northmore, that was the previous director. Northmore, name. yeah. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Yep. Northmore was the first, first known agent to use it. Yeah. <laughs> so there's, there's uh, points in the game where you'll be doing something and you'll be like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. And then you'll just hear ringing. So and your objective is find find the uh, the hotline so you can talk to the board. So it <clears throat> was just one day replaced with a knob and nobody knows what the knob is? No, no, is? no. The phone just appeared on the desk and just nobody knows why it's got a knob instead of a dial. Instead okay. of a dial, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Albany summary. Like, all different world events. Um, yeah, altered world events or AWEs. Yeah, this yeah. is super cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a whole lot of, like, go to correspondence. Let's see if we can find the one about the guy who had to take apart the plane. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Um, because it's all, like, passive-aggressive, like, office notes that you get about, like, okay, listen, you fucker. You listen, know you parts, fucker. You don't know how many parts are in a fucking plane? Because I know I had to inspect every single one yeah. of them because one part of this plane was, was corrupted by something. Where is it? Trench dead letter approval. Uh, non-official. Non-official. Oh, a clog complaint? The clog complaint, Yeah. <laughs> Gross blockage down on the water system is back. What the fuck is it? Where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Ari keep yelling nonsense at it? That's the janitor. Oh, he's okay. a wonderful Norwegian man. Um, oh, another object that I really like is the furnace. Yes. The furnace is alive, <laughs> and they have to, have feed to feed keep it. feeding it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the furnace complaint. Why aren't we allowed to burn outdated paperwork in it? Seems like a waste of perfectly good fire. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Mm-hmm. So this game this game is my game of the year because it's like it's one of those things where you ever like watch or play something and you're like, I wish I could have fucking made something this cool. Mm. <laughs> That's control for me. <laughs> like it's it's what I would strive to do creatively. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just, oh, oh something's up something's up in there. Yeah, this is, um, I think this is one of the gateways. Yeah, an OOP to... in there. Yeah. Or I think you can go up through that skylight. Oh, pee on that ghost. Yeah, you could piss on the ghost. I could, you're right. Yeah, everyone infected by the hiss is chanting all the time yeah. in unison. Oh. Oh. That's what that noise is? Uh-huh. Yeah. Everyone? Yeah. And those are people who, yeah, they've just died. been taken. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes they change and sometimes they just sort of are suspended they wherever sort of they hover. are forever. But yeah, that's this game. This game is just navigating this insane place. Interesting. Yeah, I like so, it. Oh, what's ever- on TV? What's on TV? Also, Casper Darling, best character. He's amazing. <laughs> I love him There's so much. There's a lot of that. <laughs> I love him so much. Yeah. That's that's basically it for control. I I mean, I honestly don't want to do the clog thing because it's it is direct continuation of the story. Mhm. And okay. Oh yeah, peek inside there. Peek inside and Oh, did you already see a little way? Yes. Okay. So this yeah. is their model of the astral plane. 
Um, okay. That uh, thing he was talking about that came out of the guy's head, you do have to deal with it. Oh. It, they, it's they stuck put in, in this in They this put room. it in here because they thought that it would calm it down to be in a place that kind of resembled its natural habitat. Yeah. <laughs> and it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. <laughs> um, but yeah. That's, that's just, it, it's hard. It's one of those games that, again, I just, it's one of those things where you should just play it. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a very, very, very wild ride. Standard MSRP, or is it? Mm-hmm. I don't know how much it is right now. Okay. I mean, it, there could be winter sales on it. Could yeah, be I picked it up when it was on sale pretty recently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was like 30 bucks for me. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's Control. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll check that one out, too. We had a lot of good games this year so far. 2019, yeah. turns out. That was a pretty good one. I'll yeah. save this for our little recap, if we want to do a recap. But, yeah. You know, yeah. Well, we'll talk, we'll talk. We'll talk, we'll talk. That's Control. Control.